going on guys so today I was on YouTube and I noticed that there weren't many videos uh, addressing what it's like to be a freshman here at Bloomsburg University so that's what I want to do for you today and let's just jump right in here uh, on move-in day uh, you're gonna get a, a letter about what dorm you're going to be living in and what day that you could move in there's a couple uh, dorms here and those are Schuylkill, Montour, Columbia, Luzerne, Lycoming and Elwell and uh, so on the day that you move in, uh, the process is going to be really, really slow because the CAs have a lot to be doing as well as the owls. And the owls are going to probably uh, be the most annoying people you'll ever meet. They're real peppy and they're just there for a show. But uh, the process itself is very slow. So just uh, try not to get frustrated. It's going to take a while and that's just how it's going to go. So the first person you're probably going to meet on uh, move-in day is your CA. And I suggest that you get to all them to know them as well as you can because you're going to see them all the time you're going to have meetings and you don't want to be on their bad side because they hold more power than you do and they will be watching you um so my first suggestion is once you moved in uh you should leave your dorm uh door open to let other people know that they could come in and say hi uh freshmen especially the first week is when you'll uh, make most of your friends because it's easy uh You'll be meeting a whole lot of new people and just don't be afraid to pop in and say hi. Everyone else is really cool and just run in, say what's up, talk to them about what they like and it's really easy to make friends. Uh, so your friends that you make here are uh, going to define you and what I mean is my first friend that I met was from a town close to mine and uh, he had a very poor work ethic and he ended up leaving after his first year and he was honestly just a bad influence on me his roommate and his girlfriend he ended up leaving as well as two other friends that i had made on my floor uh he was also supposed to live with me and who's currently my best friend and uh but that ended up not happening and he didn't even tell us until about a week before moving day of our sophomore year and so uh my best friend who i ended up uh, moving here with with my brother and uh, a random kid uh, he had a girlfriend who he made over the summer and who uh, he fell in love with but the problem was that they would fight all the time because she doesn't go here she's from his hometown over an hour away and uh, so me and him would be up late at night talking about what happened what they were fighting over that night and we'd be up until two in the morning and he wouldn't go to class a lot that made me not want to go to class a lot, and I actually ended up on academic probation, which isn't that serious. Uh, but, uh, so the moral of the story is to just surround yourself with friends that are going to help you and support you to be a better student and that you could be yourself around. Uh, so, picking a major, uh, don't be afraid to pick something that you're actually interested in. This is the point in your life where you're an adult and you can make decisions on your own. Uh, just because your parents want you to do something doesn't mean that you uh, should do it. And if you already picked a major and it turns out you don't like it, don't be afraid to switch it. It's okay to change your mind and you're going to change your mind a lot. Uh, next is meal plans. Okay, so when you get here, you're going to have uh, your meal swipes, your flex, uh, and your husky gold. Uh, you could choose to spend those at Subway, Steak and Shake, Monty's, Rungo's, or, uh, or at the Commons. The Commons is the main dining hall. It's, a, it's buffet style and it costs only a meal swipe. Flex dollars are used when you go anywhere else and uh, it costs over a meal, which is $5.25 here. And you'll get, I get $250 because I have the biggest meal plan. But whenever you go over, it just tax onto that and you could always check that online or they'll just tell you. Uh, my next advice is to take advantage of the rec center here. Our rec center is fantastic and uh, it's, it's amazing how many people that I talk to and I ask if they go to the uh, rec center and they say no because they don't want anyone to judge them. And the truth is when you're in there, nobody's really going to be paying attention to you. Uh, and that's not, I don't mean that to be insulting. I just mean no one's really going to care to look at you. So just get in there, get in shape and have fun. And if you're not into weightlifting, that's fine too. We have five basketball courts which could be converted into volleyball courts. Uh, 
we have four racquetball courts, we have uh, ping pong tables, and a rock wall. So there's a lot that you can do here, and there's also separate gyms in some of the buildings on campus. So just get in there and uh, see what you like and just have fun with it. I mean, you're paying for it anyway, so why not just go in there? Uh, my next piece of advice is to join clubs and or Greek life. Uh, I have gone to Rush Week for the past two years, and I really enjoy it. Uh, Greek life isn't really for me, but I have friends in Greek life, and it's a fantastic opportunity. And we uh, have some amazing ones. Uh, even we have a... Uh, a community service fraternity, which is just amazing. Uh, but we have clubs for almost everything here. And if you come here and you want to join a club and you don't see it here, it's easy to make your own. I knew a guy uh, who came and he wanted to start uh, an anglers association for fishing, and there wasn't one. So he just made his own. It just shows how easy it is to make a club here. Uh, my, last pieces of, my last piece of advice is to just manage your time well. Uh, listen guys, when I was in high school, I didn't have good grades. I was a C and D student because I didn't care. I didn't do my work in high school. And it really showed. But when you come here, I want you to have fun. Enjoy your time. It's an amazing campus. But remember why you're here. Uh, you're paying this money to get an education. So go to class. You're paying to go to class. You're paying for your books. So why not just show up to class? And I promise that your grades will reflect whether or not you go to class. Uh, I'm going to touch a little bit on... Uh, what happened with my academic probation. So after fall of, uh, of this year, I got an email saying I was on academic probation because I didn't meet my educational requirements. And what that means is that within 12 months, I have to show improvement in my grades, which I am doing. Uh, since my friend dropped out because of uh, situations with his girlfriend and just not wanting to be here, and uh, other problems that I'm not going to touch on because it's really not, none of my business and uh, none of yours. But they'll monitor your grades for 12 months, and if you don't show improvement, they're just going to kick you out, and they're not going to blink an eye at you. Trust me, they will kick you out. I know people who have been kicked out. So just manage your time well, guys, and while you're here, have fun. Go to your classes, and you'll have a great time. I promise you that you'll make great friends here. So if you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll uh, tackle those in, a, in uh, the next video. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you later.